Good evening everyone, and we are live! Hard to imagine, that's another Saturday already! December 9th, time flies, and we have a new update to explore for hidden changes. Some that we already know, some that we probably find, and improving on the speedrun. Maybe. I mean, I already did one that I uploaded as well on previous stream that was 4 minutes exactly. So it will be hard to improve, but I feel there is a room for improvement. And welcome, chat. Who can I see? I see Jason, Bruzatis, Dr. Atomic, Monkey Nuts, Woski, Trixie, Tracy, McKenna, Jules, Michaela, Ozis, JSG, RHPS, Suika, Johans, Daniel, Rex. Garame, Chris Zimmerman, Arpan Basu, Pots Thousand, Bardzo Grubaśny, Pizza Lizard, Shark Mandaro, Chris Lopez, Andrew Gonzalez, Devastator, Rad Rub, I'm Defective, Jack Reeves, The Hot, Rex, Brian, Stesso, and Lorenzo. Welcome, and everyone who will be joining in a second, welcome as well. And without further ado, Fallout 76 it is. Fallout 76, let's dive in. Launching. It is launching. I believe it is. It's thinking. Okay, it is launching. It's all good. Okay, please stand by. And here we are on Atlantic City DLC, part one. I cannot wait for part two. I want the story. The place is awesome. The story. I hope that uh, next time we'll get a DLC with new expeditions. It will be story first and expeditions after. It like, feels like order is reversed. For me, at least. I don't know if you have the same feeling. Should the story be first before repeatable expeditions? Or you prefer it the way that we have it now? Oh, Chris, you have another weightless dragon for me? That's awesome. Thank you. I will take it. And hi everyone else, I see your names, but I will not read every name again. This privilege is only for those that are in chat before me. So those names I do read. So you say story first too. If I could add anything to Atom Shop, what would that be? Well, I. I needed something last time and I forgot what was that. There was something I wanted. And I forgot what that was. It was important for me. And now I don't remember what that was. I wanted something. And I even said that I would pay whatever atoms they want, but I forgot what that was. Exploration team. I'm over encumbered. How badly am I over encumbered? Why am I so over encumbered? What am I carrying? Why do I have regular weapons? I can drop those. That do not help. What can I do? Is my carry weight booster up? It's already up. The rats? Do I need more rats? Whiskey. Okay, I can move with whiskey. Oh, we already have a full team. Nice. Oh, JSG, thank you a lot for five euro. Appreciate that. And the message from JSG managed to grind over 800 stamps since Tuesday. Now a proud owner of Union Power Armor. Everyone have a great weekend. Well, awesome, JSG. You will enjoy this power armor. Union power armor is awesome. And if you will be able to roll a full set of weapon weight reduction, 
That's the life changer. That's the truly life changer. Okay. I can get rid of some stuff. I'm still carrying something heavy and I don't know what am I carrying. What am I carrying? That's not it. Okay, that's a little bit better now. Still carrying something. I don't know what. Oh, oh, I'm running this build. <laughs> they make expedition too short. It makes turtle turn into speedrunner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Fallout is a lot about camp buildings and cosmetics. Like every MMO, every MMO is like that. Unless, it, unless we are talking about PvP MMOs, and even those. I remember when I was, uh, that was a long time ago, and when I was playing League of Legends, it was a lot about your skins for your characters. I need to confess, I spent some money on those too when I was playing. So that's like in every game. Okay, I have probably too many weapons. That's why so much weight. And I have two sets of armor. Okay, let's store unyielding intelligence one. What build should I be... Okay, what build should be better for expeditions? What weapons do I have with dot? Do I have a weapon with dot? Holy Fire has a little bit of a dot. Should I run unarmed and add Torn? How that would work? I don't have unyielding Torn though. Should I craft unyielding Torn armor one day? Hello there, Ryan Jordan. Yeah, you got me live. We are live right now. Perfect. Oh, perfect store was indirectly buffed. Is the fire finally doing a little bit more? What to do? Mm, Hellstorm, unfortunately, I don't think it applies any dot. It's just two types of damage. So many weapons and not enough. Hmm. I would like to see how much Torn will be doing on Expedition with the Bleed. I don't have this poisonous shotgun from new events. I think I scrap it. Okay, 
Uh, I didn't test all new Prime stuff. I mean, I did on public test servers, so Prime is definitely better. For Scorch, yeah, for Scorch. Prime is definitely better. Or maybe that for Expeditions. And keep the crit for... Oh, crit will kill me too. If I use crit for bosses, that will kill me. So crit is not an option. I don't have a weapon I want. No dot? No poison? Which weapons do apply poison? Uh, what I have on me? The laser can apply fire damage. But it's a spin-up weapon. I don't think spin-up weapon is the best idea for expeditions. Pepper Shaker can apply, and we tested that already, can apply poison from Strangler Heart, and it's good on expeditions, as they have like very low, surprisingly, dot resistance. Holy Fire is not a bad idea too. Red Upper was working great. If I would change to Carnivore, that's probably a great idea. But can the classic Unarmed do it? I, I need to see. Torn. What do I have from Torn set? I don't have Unyielding Torn. I do have a mix of Torn. I do have a mix of Torn. Yeah, the company team maker is a game changer, truly. Okay. That's as well ways, well, less noise while sneaking at detection chance, but I don't need that probably. Or maybe I could combine it, like if they would be Tato Toss, I could sneak, so they will not engage me. Could be like Torn actually can be a good idea. The weight management will be a little bit of an issue. Okay, if I exit my power armor. I go with Torn. Okay, full set, then I store other armor. Torn. I could go out to Axe too. Maybe Auto Axe, not Classic Unarmed. I would need to change it to Carnivore. I would be way more powerful. Company T will lose a little bit of power, but as a Carnivore, I can do better. I will go Carnivore. I can do better as a Carnivore melee. I feel it. I feel I will do better as a melee Carnivore. Am I right? Oh, we're going to my camp. Okay, I'm going to my camp then too. Oh, I cannot move. Definitely need to do something about my weight. Melee build. That will fix it. Have to buy the builds. Okay. Yeah, melee. More strength, more movement. Ultra side cutting with bloodied and faster fire rate. That's the best Gatling. It's it's a killer. Check my review of Ultra side Gatling laser. 
It's an amazing weapon. You are asking if it's worth something? It's insanely good. Thank you. We are almost ready for my dragon build. <laughs> my collection is almost complete. Only weightless because dragon build requires 11 dragons. That's kind of a lot. Okay, I have a bunch of weapons, but I do need them. Have some room. I can store my strangler heart for now. Serums. Ah, being a Mutation so serums. A draw reaction. Barebones. I do need barebones. That's for jumping. Carnivore. Eagle eyes for crits. I don't need egg head now. Electrically charged. No, I don't need it. Hair before. No. Hair mentality. Marzupial. Plug walker. Yeah, plug walker. Scully skin. Speed demon. Talents. Twisted muscle. Okay. Need to wipe mutations. I need a good expedition speedrunner build. Mutations getting wiped in here. I need crazy quick damage and everything else. Did I wipe them all out? Yes. I need to be tanky too. Okay, let's uh, review the perks. I need the carry weight and tankiness. Traveling pharmacy, bear arms, blocker, incisor. I don't need arms keeper. I need the swing speed. Martial artist. Incisor, fire in the hole and grenadier, that's for expedition. That need to be here. Grenadier must be shared or fire in the hole shared in case Tato will appear. Which one better? Grenadier or fire? Probably grenadier. Life giver, camp and colonnade, fireproof, radical, or revenant. Revenant probably not necessary, but okay. Party boy, happy go lucky, strange numbers, tenderizer. Nerd rage, makeshift, scrapper. Makeshift, I probably... Depends what weapon I'll be using. Makeshift warrior, not necessary. Mm, we, we go for more carry. Batteries. Don't need the scrapper. And better healing, so I don't accidentally die. Adrenaline, yeah. Adrenaline is good. I don't need enforce. I will not be crippling them there. Escape artist if I need to disappear for a second in front of enemies. Okay, then ricochet, good with salt. No, not too crit savvy. Criticals with melee, how important that will be. And I could go for criticals, I don't know how much it will help me. Probably not too much with melee. Nah. Glass freak, ricochet, uh, serendipity. I cannot die. The dying is not compatible with speedrunning. Think. Legendary perks. Electric absorption not compatible. Do I need Master Infiltrator? Maybe. Mm, next. More damage. They will be attacking me. Hack and... No, not... Do I want hack and... Sl Maybe? Splash in... 
that splash may be useful. Maybe let's let's try it. Okay, serums. Sort by value, so serums on top. Adrenar, bare bones, carnivore, eagle, haired, marsupial, plague, wicked, scaly, skin, speed, demon, talus, twisted muscle. Alright, mutated. I am mutated. Melee weapon. I have red apple. It's probably already really good. What's the AP drain? It's not bad. Most likely third person view, so I will be able to keep moving fast. What mods do I have on arms? Uh, right arm. Rolling. Wait it. It's too much armor penetration. I don't think I will need it. Maybe I keep rolling for now. If asbestos lining on the chest piece. Generally those are not great pieces. I would need to craft some new. Have two overeaters. No, three overeaters. One vanguard. And this one is... Oh, this one is bad. Damage from animals. So left like at some point I should craft something better. Those are terrible. Terrible, but what can you do? Oh, under armor. I need to Change the backpack. I want my backpack. Oh, that's a grocer's. No. Where is the shell? That's my shell. The capacity. No flares. How do I remove the flare? No flare. Okay. And under uh, and outfit. Rubber monster. Too many outfits. Grab a monster. That's how I look like. Now, what was this unarmed weapon that I have? Gauntlet. Instigating. Maybe that's good. It's a speed. Less damage while power attacking. I don't want... Oh, shock pads. Makeshift warrior need to be equipped to put shock pads on. But oh, there is no appearance for that. Oh, okay.
Oh, the poison gives me a dot. Not a good idea to have a dot. Turbo is a waste, just takes away the damage. But this dot is a little bit small. It's 95 over 5 seconds. Could try though. It's a dot after all. Oh, you have spare vampire swings with death glow. Yeah, I could try that too. If you don't need it at this moment. Need to rename it. Yeah, the turbo mode initially supposed to increase attack rate. But Bethesda is very confused sometimes and they increase attack rate for everything to the maximum. So then this mod is pointless as it does, it's not able to increase it anymore. The vampire would be better as instigating is not really helping much, but... What can you do? I want some unarmed so I will have more bleed stacking. Thank you. Appreciate that. Is that modded? No, so I need to mod it. Uh, did they. Wait, is, is one of new paints for Deathclaw Gauntlet? Not sure now. It's one of new paints for Death Glow Gauntlet. I need to check. Quick visit at the White Spring. Oh, what's going on? Scorch are attacking. Okay, quick visit at the White Spring Giuseppe place. Uh, the bug with the shredder was fixed in the last patch, I think. I didn't verify on this patch, but it should be working well. Giuseppe, where are you? I have a little bit of stamp, so... Paint. Yes! There is a plan. Haha! <laughs> yeah, that will be awesome. That will be awesome with Rubber Monster outfit. That will be awesome. Now I will look super cool. I hope it will work as well. New melee food should carry me easily. Let's see. Overgrown. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Perfect match! Is anyone missing a limb? Awesome! Very good! I think armor is still showing the same amount of bleed, isn't it? This doesn't go up with my perks, unfortunately. <laughs> overgrown missile launcher. I have overgrown Deathclaw gauntlet. It's something from the freezer. Is that salt or 
If one only death to Wellington, but I will eat it. Scorpion kebab. Steak. Before it will all spoil. Oh. Some, something spoiled. I have spoiled stuff in my freezer. Okay, we pop some stuff. Company T will still work on carnivore, so that's good. Death glow. Babs, good card. Steak. Spoiled stuff. We don't have stew. I need rats. I will just take dirty like water. That enough water. That's my dirty water. Not enough. Oh, yeah, no. Perks. Is it all good? Do I need Kenfent? Probably not. Oh, I need Adamantium Skeleton. Pre maybe. I don't want Kenfent. I want Adamantium Skeleton so no one will ever cripple me when I will be busy doing stuff. I think that's good now. Uh, let me verify my special. Good. Thirty-five strength. Five hundred damage with death glow gauntlet with very fast swinging. I will equip it here. And I need to rename it, or I accidentally drop it. I <laughs> oh, and I press. I want to rename it to Overgrown Gantlock. Let's do a test run on Expedition. And let's see how well the bleed will be working on those guys. Oh, one, one more thing. Will it work if I would use the new circuit breaker pistol in my hand and then throw a knife? Will that apply bleed or not? That's one thing to test, but we can test that later. No, there is no new per se melee food. It's old food that has been reworked. So all the advanced melee foods like Mutant Hound Stew will now give you bigger bonus and require more stuff to craft. Okay. Overgrown Keeper is first. Where's my overgrown keeper? Okay. 
kind of worked. Oh, the first cage is there. Time, time is good. Anyone running for the second cage? Okay, it kills them. That's good. Okay, we have to face one. I'm still not sure if auto axe would be maybe better. It's overgrown to several swings. I'm not sure how well bleed was working. As I didn't give it time of a day <laughs> to really trigger. Is Bleed working on Juji? It was relatively fast, I would say. I'm not sure if Bleed is worth it. I would I would need to see the auto axe with poison. Maybe that's better. Oh no, escort T. So it will not be a speedrun, so I can test stuff. That's a female escort T. It will be extremely slow now. We'll waste all our advantage. We did up to here in two minutes, and now it will take forever. Yeah, bleed kills them. Okay, so after one swing, the bleed will finish them off. Oh, we already did all, all, all required emoji. So I could just one swing hit them and then continue on my way. So they die anyway. What is Escorty doing? Keep moving. How is the damage with auto axe when I put the poisonous mod now? Come on, Escorty. She's lost. Maybe auto axe even faster. What is she doing? Let her go, guys. She doesn't know where to go. Give her room. She seems to be a little bit confused. Give her more room. She's shy. Ah. Not even anyone to attack. And just explore. Nothing I can do. Oh, she's moving. Oh, finally. Escort is the worst. The yeah, auto axe is fast. Maybe auto axe is the way. Who knows? This poison can be actually good. It's 240 dot poison. I have 250 bleed. Plus additional bleed from... Talons. Doesn't say how much, but I think that's 50. So that will be 300 bleed. And 200 poison. That's over 500 dot.
over 500 dot is good. The biggest downside will be that when I'm spinning, I cannot sprint. I can sprint then spin. I will need to get used to operation systems. An ant I could run with vintage Nuka Shine, but I'm not sure if that's enough. Not sure if an arm is good enough. Oh, will the grenade apply the poison from auto axe? When I toss a grenade with auto axe? I don't have grenades. That's a good question. Could try auto axe in VATS too. But I'm not sure if this will work. I know in VATS it's quite often not hitting. Unless they fix that. No, they probably didn't fix that. I just. My VAT quit. Look how slow is this SQRT. It's already taking us five minutes just SQRT. I could do the entire expedition faster than single SQRT mission. Oh, yeah, that's a problem with VATS. Okay, without VATS I have enough damage. In VATS it's getting stuck. Okay, so VATS is still not a good idea with auto melee. It's getting stuck. Okay, we did it... In what, 13 minutes? No, uh, 8 minutes. Still not too bad. Okay, auto axe must be the way to go. Yes, Pete is pointless now. Yeah, Pete has better ammo farming. If you are after ammo, yes, that's true. The ammo drops here are lower, but you're getting more stamps. So if you are about stamps, like I have more ammo than I will be able to use in my life already in my ammo box so that's not my concern but i want stamps yes a lot of super expensive plants uh, the prices have been reduced so now you can buy entire union power armor after a week of farming and a good legendary no Oh, Daniel, we're dropping Newcon Queen. Okay, we'll attend. We'll attend a Newcon Queen. Okay, we'll attend the Queen. So I go to scrap some stuff. I can go here. What enemies? What enemies are invading my camp? I don't know. Don't see any. Oh, I need to craft some knives. Yeah, let's do experimentation if I can before the before the nuke drops. Autox is relatively expensive, but the power of the weapon absolutely justifies the price, in my opinion. Like, that's the most powerful melee, so... The price must be high. Light freestyle I will probably keep. I will scrap what I cannot store and what is heavy. Oh, that's full? 
that's full. Here I need legs. But I have only arm and torso. Okay, one pie armor is actually full. The floater grenades are doing a really good dot now. No Enclave Plasma. Sometimes this vendor is selling now Enclave Plasma mods. Oh, the nuke is already coming. There is a weapons bench. Throwing weapons. Oh, the shards have poison too, but a very little. Tomahawks are not bad, but heavy. Tomahawks are quite heavy, but I will craft a bunch. Oh, ammo store. I don't need any ammo. The pistol. Oh, I need this pistol on a quick wheel. Any enemies? The nuke is dropping. I don't want to be in the nuke zone. Come here, scorch me, Queen. Land. I'm curious if stun works on Scottish Queen and if it helps her land or make it harder. She's landing somewhere. No, I don't want to bash. I want to toss a tomahawk. Oh, it does. Let's pop a stun. Uh oh, I think I went into the new zone. Uh oh. I'm inside the new zone. Run. Drink some ramen milk. Am I out? I'm out. I'm not sure if that is actually working. No, I'm not attacking at all in VATS. What is this sound? What? Did I went into the nuke zone again? Or is the radiation from Scorchy's Queen so so high now? Do I have any rat resist? No, I do not. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Scorching Squid is always dropping three star now. Uh, what are the plans? Not needed. Oh, I can take catch some uh, meat. Some stromilic. Let's run into the nuke zone. Give me a little bit of rats. Where's the nuke zone? Oh, I can test one thing. Someone said that power armor no longer protects. Oh, so my rat resist is extremely low. So that could have been radiation from the Scorch Beast Queen. Let's see in the nuke zone if I would be doing fine in power armor. Let's test this report. There were several comments under my videos that power armor do not work in the nuke zone anymore. Seems to... Seems like it does work just fine for me. One rat, that's what I would expect in power armor. So I don't know why those reports. Mine works. Is your power armor working normally in nuke zone? There's several comments that it doesn't, but I just entered and it works. Without power armor, yeah, without power armor, it is crazy amount of rats. I need to fix my armor. Yeah, a lot of armor pieces completely broken. Okay, let's finish testing throwables and then we can we can go for expedition maybe it's only xo1 yeah okay so maybe it's only xo1 Ah, forgot it doesn't work other than in first person. Oh, they die in one shot, a pistol. Okay, the stun, but... Oh, they did get a little bit of damage. Did stun carry the... What did stun carry? Stan is doing a little bit of damage somehow. Like this guy almost died. I didn't directly attack it. Oops. Forgot you can recover tomahawks. So Stan do carry some tiny bit of damage. But it doesn't look like it will be usable. I need stronger enemy to test a poison. Oh, I need a quantum. Did poisons from auto axe carry over with throwables? Don't know how useful this knowledge is, but I still want to know. What do we test it on? Human? There or there? There. No, it wasn't the torn effect. It must be a little bit of... Uh, maybe that was... Maybe that was one of the mutations. I don't know what that was. Torn would kill them. Torn effect would kill those low levels if applied. Okay, so tomahawks do not carry the bleed. Unfortunately. Tomah tomahawks do not carry the bleed. 
They do surprisingly carry something from the pistol. Let's carry something, but not enough to make a throwable build. Where are my tomahawks? Give me back my tomahawks. Is tomahawk exploding even if it doesn't hit a target? Where did it go? What's the stun? But what released the stun? Oh! Ricochet! Ricochet triggered the stun! Haha! <laughs> LOL! Ricochet built anyone? <laughs> Let's see. Ricochet trigger more. They want to see if they kill themselves. They shoot too slowly. They need to be fast weapons like this Gatling Plasma. Yeah! Ricochet triggers the stun! So bad this pistol don't have a useful attribute. For it to trigger the stun I need to have zero ammo in this pistol. So I could go for a grenade build. Like a grenade could work. Oh. He killed himself. <laughs> Too fast firing weapon. Alright, that's that's cool. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. I could make a grenade build from that, but Molotov. Yeah, I know. Without serendipity, will trigger more. So power armor with this pistol would be awesome. Like straggler heart with extra poison. Oh, they all dead. Oh, the raider killed them. So bad the bash doesn't do more. If you could spec for bash build. That would be usable. Oh yeah, the grenade triggers that. But oh yeah, use that. <laughs> bye bye. Good night. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Can you ki kill a turret like that? So bad the torn do not apply for ricochet with a pistol. Ah, if torn could apply, that would be so cool. No turrets. Oh, someone has a camp. So, oh, there is a turret. Fire. Oh, I stunned the turret. Yeah, more explosions. <laughs> Hello, well, ricochet build. <laughs> Why did I store a straggler heart? Let me, let me visit this cup. I need to pull the straggler heart. Will straggler heart apply to the ricochet explosions? Yeah. 
Yeah, mutants. Let me let me wear a stronger hurt. Thunder Doctor. <laughs> 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 The poison being applied or not? Hard to tell. Can you tell if there is any poison? Okay, maybe Strangler Heart is not great. Or maybe there is a little bit of poison. There was a couple ticks of damage. Just not enough poison, as this armor, how much poison is that? Uh, 30 poison damage over 3 seconds, and this is not boosted. So 10 per second, but they have poison resist. That's a little bit. What if I would... In Will it apply the poison from... Red Appa? Now there will be no stun, but... Come on, trigger the ricochet. Come on. I cannot trigger the ricochet. Why they don't have... Oh, there was ricochet triggered. I'm not sure. Took a little bit of damage. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure if the poison carry over or not. I need to figure out how to boost the explosion damage from the pistol. There is, it looks like there is a little bit of explosion. Deals a little bit of damage, so there is some kind of a damage. But what can be added to this damage, I don't know, to make it better. Maybe Demo Expert could slightly increase it. Maybe, like Demo Expert, there is a chance for a little bit stronger explosions. If it scales with Demo Expert, we do not know. This explosion is incredibly poor. But if I would maybe spec for pistols, does it... I don't even know if that's stuck with pistol perks. I can test that later, but definitely Ricochet can trigger those explosions and Grenade can. So this is cool. Now about my Auto Axe. I have some poison damage and I have bleed. And it seems to be working quite well on Expedition, so we can try again. Surprisingly, Gantlet seems to be slightly too weak. Even though it's 500 damage. 500 is too weak? I don't know why. No, they didn't patch anything. Everything is just like it was. There was no patch. Since Tuesday, there was no additional patch. That's what I wanted to say. Obviously, there was a Tuesday patch changing and adding expedition. Changing a lot of things that I'm trying to figure out now. Especially the dot poison and other dots interest me. Do you remember? What is the strongest dot weapon? Which weapon has the biggest dot? Is that the shotgun from the 
uh, safe and sound or it's something with bigger dot okay some for time for some turtle action speedy turtle timer start what's the first quest there. Overgrown moonflowers. Okay, kill moonflowers. Kill overgrown moonflowers. Where's the moonflower? What? Did I miss it? Where's the moonflower? Oh, there he is. Hey guys, get other moonflowers. I will be waiting here. One more moonflower. Oh, I'm the closest. Okay, I'm going there. Normally I would wait next to the door, but it's faster if I go back if I'm the closest. Uh, any dot type, yeah, fire too, fire included. I think there is no ice dot, so we have only true damage dot, poison and fire. Unless I'm missing something, those are... So I'm looking for the highest dot, but... It's either not too much dot weapon or I'm missing something. Teddy claimed. Guy disarmed. Okay, two minutes. The Kabloom and Holy Fire the biggest poison. I don't have Kabloom, I do have Holy Fire. Oh, Shark's Den, okay. I hope you guys know what to do. Everyone need to cover one entrance. There are three. And I need to cover the entrance that is farther out. So I will be running first. Clean the area and cover entrances. Cover other entrances, this one is mine. Don't let any enemies in. Good. We cannot get in. That's how it goes the fastest. If you don't get... Oh no, one enemy in the area. Kill it. Don't let anyone in. Ah, uh, no, four minutes is not possible. We are a little bit too slow on initial phase, I think. But it will be good time. Just not as fast. Okay, oh, man, stagger grenade. Not bad. Four and a half minute. 
We can do better, but it was good. I think auto axe is the way to go. Or maybe chainsaw? Do you think chainsaw would be better or worse? Why poison? I wanted a dot. Uh, enemies in expeditions are very weak versus dot. They do take way more damage from dot than regular enemies for some reason. And it doesn't matter how much fire or poison resistance they have. They're weak. I don't know why. It's, it's not correlated with their resistance. They just take a lot of damage from dot. I tested that last time. I was able to kill them with Strangler Heart effect with Peppa Shaker. Yeah, the overgrowns are quite tough. That's true. Okay, nothing great. Yeah, I'm still experimenting with this dot. Will Tesla coil be good too? I don't know. It's a good question. I didn't test that. Will Tesla coil hit them hard? Yeah, the grenades will work quite well. Uh, unfortunately, tossing grenades is slow. Who's attacking my camp? Tesla coil. Tesla coils. Oh, Tesla coils. Maybe. I have an idea for another test. Oh, I need to store my power armor pieces. I have any legs. Oh, they both need legs. This one is completely empty. Oh, they both right arm. Wait, I hear something. Something is biting. Yeah, I knew it. an ammo box, okay. Okay, test. And how is the holy fire compared to this amount of poison? Like, the auto axe poison is a lot because it's boosted by melee buffs. What other melee weapons have dirt? 
Do you remember what other melee weapons have those? I think some of them can be modified for bleed. Like power fist can be modified for bleed. Sheep squad stuff can be modified for fire. I'm curious if bleeds uh, is boosted. Oh, the machete can be modified too. I don't have any good machete. Work life can be modified, but I don't think it's dot. It's just straight up damage. Yeah, ship squad stuff and club can be modified. That's true. How's the machete? Serrated blade. That's 45 per 5 seconds, but is it boosted? That's after the boost. That's already after the booster. Do I need to equip it to see? That's already after the boost 45 or this one is not boosted? Doesn't seem right. It's little. Very little. I have ship squad crook. Uh, Chef has crook, okay, that's not ship squad stuff. Oh, Machete has one more rare mode. Yeah, let me know if, if you have some melee weapons. Check them out and let me know which one has the highest dot. And I will test first what I wanted. Power armor. Let me get some low level enemies. Unstoppable monster doesn't have dirt. Oh, Rex, thank you a lot to, for rejoining Tertus Army. Appreciate that. And may the shell be with you. Of the circuit breaker. Where are those scorched? Where are you? I don't know if that's boosted or not. He does take electric damage. Electric damage, unfortunately, do not pop a circuit breaker. What killed it so fast? Ricochet? He died surprisingly fast. Hmm. 
Does it specify how much this electric mod does? Five energy damage to nearby targets. Oh, nearby targets are dead. So definitely works on low level. What about high level targets? Yeah, Ricochet Pop Circuit Breaker. I know that we already tested that. But I wasn't expe expecting this Scorch to just drop dead from that instantly. Hello. Damn, Ricochet Trigger. Okay, that's stun. Okay, it's too weak for them. <coughs> oh, now he took a bunch of damage. No, someone else shooting. Okay, that's probably not me. Let's get on the inside. No, electric is still direct damage. Oh, you have something for me? What? What did I get experience for? Oh, thank you. See, sacrificial machete. Okay, so that's the higher one. So that's 45 bleed, 223 poison. Modded with sacrificial. That's quite a bit of dot with my torn and sacrificial mode. I would need to test it. Test it in expedition. Yeah, dot is damage over time. It's just a shortcut. Shortcut in gaming. Like AOE is area of effect attack. Dot is damage over time. So that those two are very popular shortcuts. Uh, at least in any PvP MMOs. Dot and AOE. What? Salts are now in party packs? They're uh, talking about recipes or salts themselves? It was doing quite well on super mutants. It should be way better here. Expedition enemies are fragile. Let's see. Yeah. And big guy. It works. works mm. 
This guy will die as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm curious how about bosses? Will it do any significant damage on mid midway boss? Okay, this is far. Dead. Flower, tag, and back. It's not enough for bosses, it looks like. It does add damage, but on bosses it's not enough. On regular enemies it does enough. Not on bosses. Oh wait. No one pick up the bear? Oh, no. What is killing them? Dot! Bleed and poison. It's combined dot. I have over 300 bleed and close to 300 poison. Oh, tato toss everyone. Get ready for tossing some taters. Change to first person perspective. Oh, come on. Oh, they didn't pick up. Guys, finish. I'm running. I'm running because we have good time, and there is small chance if last Tato can land. Come on, auto axe didn't work. I hate this bug. Oh, stupid auto axe, attack! Ah, that ruined it. I could have other. Okay, but we'll do it. We'll do it eventually. So it looks like Tato tossing is the best quest if you have full team. 4 minutes 10 seconds. Could have been better. I know that machete works now. The only problem is that even though machete works, on bosses it's not enough. On regular enemies, yes, I need to swap for bosses. So maybe swapping of the weapon as machete is fast. So I can do it way faster than spinning auto axe. Let me make this uh, machete legendary. That will increase its usability too. Unless there is a better weapon. Let me know, is there a better weapon than Machete for Dot? Yeah, I'm using Torn Armor. It works. I am using Torn Armor. Unfortunately, the bleed damage is not boosted, only the poison. I can boost poison damage with perks. The bleed cannot be boosted.
and you need you don't need wrench in this expedition if you are with a team. The wrench is not required. Does the plasma cutter has a dot? I don't think so. Or maybe there is one flame plasma cutter. Let me check my stash box if I have any. Lucas switchblade? Is that with a dot? This is all light with exception of Fatman, so Fatman goes. Only heavy stuff goes. But this is quite heavy. And two star. Okay. I have pitchforks. <laughs> I would not be riding with pitchforks. I don't think so. What? Eleanor, what's that? Oh, thank you. Okay, not modified. So I will modify it. I need to make shift warrior for that. Is there a dot on this? Uh, no. Okay, there's barb that gives me 45 bleed, burning gives 45 fire and 45 bleed. Eighty-six energy, twenty-two poison. Is that not boosted, or is it showing before the boost? Uh, let's go with this one and see. Fifty three. Why only fifty three? Should it be more? Fifty three. Okay, it's not as high as machete, and unfortunately, it's a good one. But I will give it back as I don't, I don't need it then. It's less dot. I will be putting stuff back here that I don't need. I put it back modified. Fortunately, it cannot achieve enough. Oh, welcome new members. Thank you a lot. Michael Small for five donated memberships. I appreciate that. And I welcome Dwayne Conway, Galidorn, Molly, Manimus, Jane Doe. Welcome to Tertus Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you very much. Let me review my weapons further. I still could go a heavy bean with... A uh, heavy bean. <laughs> a heavy build with the Holy Fire. This Holy Fire does a dot, but can it be boosted to significant amount? Probably not. The only melee is the one that can be severely boosted. Smelly boosters are way greater than anything else. What other melee do I have? This doesn't have that, yeah? Electro Enforcer. We don't have more money on me? Fortunately, this doesn't have a good moment. I would love the Turtle Gauntlet to be great for that. But it is not. I have so many Turtle Gauntlets? I do. Is the Warglaive? Available with any mods? Oh, Taken! Thank you a lot for joining Tertus Army! Welcome 
and may the shell be with you. Thank you very much. Okay, let me craft some other weapons that you said that can be good. So I need... Invader? No, Invader would probably not be good. Well, who knows? I will craft one. The blade at once. Oh, Adam Actual, thank you for returning to Tertus Army. May the shell be with you. How are you doing? Plasma cutter, this you wanted me to test that. Shish kebab is not a dot. It must be dot, like dot works differently on Is it working? Are we back online? I did try to switch it off and back on again. Signing in. Let me know if it's working. But it looks like we are online. I managed to sign back in. Yeah, it was something on my end, although I don't know exactly what. Just connection dropped. The router was showing a red light, which is not a good sign. But after restart, it seems to be working. So I have no idea what happened. All right. I think we are back on. What was I doing when I got kicked? I think I was modifying a weapon. Connection could handle that much fallout, yeah. Okay, tested that, what I was looking at, plasma cutter. Cryo. Oh, so flaming blade does come with a dot. That seems like a relatively small one. But there is a dot for flaming blade. Played it with some true damage. Machete is better. I think my buff probably expired. It's showing less now. 
95 over 10 second versus cutter 44 over okay so that's faster and no bleed though but higher initial damage so maybe plasma cutter is good if a team okay I think my buff is gone, so I need a new one. We need to craft more buffs one day. Running down my freezer. Okay, melee buff back on. Some buffs to cook. And some I can purchase, I totally forgot for a buff vendor. Hello there. Can you what? No, not again. Don't drop connection. Okay, something is happening with my ISP. I didn't completely drop, but there was there was a drop in connection for a couple seconds. Something is not perfect. Don't do that to me, internet. Not today. I'm trying to do something important. At least important for me. Oh, blood flies are for rat reses. Crispy, that's for energy resist. Oh, agility. That's strength buff. Weak AP region now. Mutton chops are weak. That's old stuff. Nuka bottle dogs are nice. And Nuka dogs. That scorpion kebab is good for energy resist. And pastry for carry weight. Okay, we have some. I need rats too. Do I have some spoiled stuff? Nothing spoiled. So now the dot plasma cutter, okay, it's 100 fire damage. That's decent amount. Sacrificial machete is 220 and 45. So that's more, but cutter will, will have a stronger hit, like twice a strong hit. So much more kick, <laughs> initial kick, and it's faster dot. So for the first five seconds, it's almost the same dot. For the first five seconds, almost the same dot. And there will be 250 added from Torn. Uh, the Torn is what kind of delay are we looking at? Torn, 10 seconds. Okay, so 125 for five seconds. If I want them to die after five seconds, I have 250 total. So the cutter seems to be a good option. We compare the cutter with Sacrificial Machete. Can I make this cutter usable? I have a lot of modules to waste. Should I even go for 3 star or 2 star? Third star is not really useful at all. But that's only one extra module. But much, much more cores. 2 stars. Dormant. Newton. Hunters. Oh, come on. Give me something. Oh. Anti-armor weapon speed. Why not? It's not as good as vampire. 
That's something. And machete. Like those mo those legendary modules are heavy, so I want swing speed. Where is my swing speed? Oh, bloody! But no swing speed. I want a swing speed. Weapon speed instigating. Okay. I'm not sure if instigating applies to the dot. Maybe, maybe not. And let's give me here cutter and here machete. Oh, do I have a skin for the cutter? So I don't accidentally scrap it. Oh, I can make it a sword. Oh, chess is for you. Thank you a lot for five donated memberships. I appreciate that chess is for you. And who do I welcome? I welcome Harrison Fnord, T Dog, Dr. Atomic, Maria Depp, and Carpenter. Welcome to Territus Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you, Lot Chess is for you. And now we'll test those new toys. So bad I cannot find an armed weapon that would uh, offer a good dot. There is really no good dot unarmed. I'm thinking about it. I cannot, like... There is... Like, Power Fist is only a little bit of bleed. Power Fist, a little bit of bleed. Hmm... Settler's Gauntlet, I don't think there is any. Did it die or not? I think it died. Uh, eliminating Moonflowers. Okay, this sword works quite well. This sword works really well. Got the moonflower. Anyone get another moonflower? Guys, you need to eliminate moonflower. Why is everyone here? Only I should be here. Only I should be waiting for the door. Okay, that will not be the fastest, but I tested it a little and seems to be doing doing real well. Is it good enough for like mini bosses on the way if I would use it in VATS? Okay, that will not be the fastest, but but for test it's okay. Settler's Gauntlet has bleed mod? Did I miss that? Regular Gauntlet. Settler's Gauntlet has only the shock part. What's the bleed mod? Bear, no one pick up the bear. Bear. Let's 
Okay, we are practicing. Because the idea is that team leaders should be just running straight as much as possible and people behind doing objectives. That's how you speed run it. Oh, that's a tato. I've got a tato toss. Aim well, and it will work. Take this out. Oh. And then it will be close. Like this would be a really good run, surprisingly, even though it was a lot of mistakes, so I see the potential. Have a huge potential. But for this fight, I need Red Appa. There is no way it will be done without Red Appa. Oh, come on, not the bug. Okay, 4 minute 20. 4 minute 20 seconds is good. It's not the high score. I don't think there is replacement for the Ed Red Upper, so I definitely need Red Upper and other weapon for everyday regular enemies that die from one swing. I could probably slightly boost my damage output if I would have like one star gladiator perks. Million trash their life saving stalkers. Mystic board. A lot of enemies do die from one swing with this setup. So I, I, I'm getting my hang on it. I don't know how to improve it. Is there a better way to kill faster? And someone said, oh, mutated test your metal. You're absolutely joining. Uh, you buy red upper with stamps. I could use, oh, I forgot. I supposed to check if chainsaw is better or worse. Chainsaw does have a dot, but it's a fire dot. Red Appa has poison dot. There should be a stash box somewhere. There is no stash box on this event. Oh, there is stash box. Do I have a? Ch I think I store all the chainsaws. Yeah, I did store the chainsaw <laughs> on my mule as I wasn't using it. Store the chainsaw. No chainsaw. Hello. Let's 
for me. Oh, the dragon, thank you. Wait, let's, yep. Yeah. Awesome, thank you for the dragon. I need to count my dragons. Maybe I already have enough. Poisons, but I have like no poison resistance. Wing speed is good enough on this, so that's that's the strongest plus side. Can swing real fast. Oh, straight up with the sword. So this anti-armor samurai sword is already real good. 110 dot. What if I would add? Oh, but this is like no room. Instead of what, dropping martial artists? Maybe I don't need it. And one rank of gladiator. Oh, no. Oh, internet, do not drop. Do not drop, internet. Oh, that doesn't work. Wait. Gladiator doesn't work? Is it working? I think we're back. Yeah, it's something is wrong with this internet. It's dropping connection, but nothing I can do. I already re reset it, so it was already reset. So all problems are coming from the ISP provider. The power fist with puncturing mode has only a little bit of bleed and nothing else. The best dot is on the machete, so far, that we managed to discover. Yeah, you would think that United Kingdom and the city internet would be solid. Like, this is considered to be first world country, but it is, like, internet is not great. I managed to rejoin. My character is still loading. Is the event over? Is it still going? I don't know. I think the event is over. Not even sure if I got the rewards. Probably not. I was late. Uh. Nevertheless, I <laughs> mean, yeah. Do I have more Muffman eggs? I forgot to scrap some of the legendaries that I have on me.
Oh, mods for Strangler Heart Power Armor? Those are the hardest to get. Uh, you get them from Scorch Beast Queen event, but it's a rare drop and you will find them on the body of Scorch Beast Queen. If they drop. Five percent chance to deal twelve fire damage per second for four seconds to melee attackers. So they reduced it to was one hundred. They made it stack, but they reduced the damage. Oh come on, Bethesda. How how and why would you nerf the weakest legendary effect? Twelve per second for four seconds. That's total of 48. It used to be 100. Now that explains the math in the patch notes. Two hundred forty makes sense now. <laughs> with full stacks. Oh, Rodney Wright. Thank you a lot for 30 bucks. Appreciate that. And the message is keep the reviews coming. Thank you a lot, Rodney Wright. Appreciate that. Thank you a lot for 30 bucks. And my apologies for the internet that's not cooperating today at all. Right arm troubleshooter will store that. If only last power armor that has room for a right arm. What would be better? Machete or plasma sword? 115. And we are probably back, but those random disconnects are killing me. Hello there, Fargas here. It's not a good day for my internet provider. Yeah, herbivore is easier in general, but if you want to run melee, you need carnivore. And I want to run some melee. For expedition speed running, melee seems to be the way. Like, auto axe can melt enemies the fastest, I think. And back on. At least for now. If I don't my hook vendor. Do I want to buy? Light chops? No. Light mutton chops are weak. Regular mutton chops are better. Should I buy them? Are those the best or? Let's buy it. My bath for Melly is 213. Those are 140 default. Okay, so this is not good. I purchased a wrong buff. Drop it. Yeah, 
eat some rats, I will just get dirty water. Lazy XP build, that's... Do that work together, like lazy experience build, it's just experience build uh, when you don't use all the buffs. Unless you mean... There's dirty water, I was like, I wasn't gathering boiled water. Okay, 48 bleed. Does bleed go up with my buffs? Uh, do I have any bloodied stuff? Oh, it will go up too. Okay, if it would be bloodied, it would be even more damage. One fifteen versus two hundred thirty-eight. Not sure which one is better. Like this is way more impact damage, but this is way more dot. I am reconnected. Now will it last? Maybe it will last now. I want to try expedition, but I don't want to get disconnected. So red apa and sacrificial machete or. Plasma Cutter, so far seems to be amazing combo. Throwing weapons, only one has blade, but it's very little. Any unarmed that will boxing glove cannot be poisoned. Power fist can only have bleed. Yeah, there is not as many not as many unarmed weapons. Death Tambo is unarmed. Is there any cool mod? Already did the gauntlet. Mid hook. Mole miner is bleed. Oh, there's no upgrade for the temp. Extra hooks is just damage. The invaders do not have an upgrade Going to drop those. Oh, scrap. We're we trying one more. Maybe it will not get disconnected. Let's do the samurai speedy action. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, Galper Snacker can do bleed, but it's only bleed and it's not high, unless I'm mistaken. The Autax I'm using with poison, but the reason for that is expedition enemies are weak versus dot. Oh, Chris Zimmerman, you use Starlink and you have no issues with gaming? There is no lag? I would expect Starlink would have a little bit of a lag. Like you need to send the signal on orbit and back. Maybe they just so good. Why can I jump? What's going on?
They do die from one swing. That's the important part. No matter how tough they are, they die from one swing. Oh, you're already here. Okay. One swing and emoji. In. Okay, not bad time, one minute. No, I'm not using an Ilnik Torn, so I could do better. I have mostly over Eater's turn. Forgot to switch. For this guy, I need Auto Axe. Heals them way faster. Oh, oh, Teddy Bear. Okay, good. We got the Teddy Bear. Yeah, I know. I need an Ilnik Torn. That's a big crafting session, though. I need an healing torn, I know that. Shark's Den. Okay, and there is three of us, so that's exactly as many as needed, the minimum number. So there are three entrances to cover. Can we do it super fast? We'll see. We would need to do it super fast. I want to jump and I don't hit auto axe here. Yeah. Oh, emoji. We got it. Oh, that was a delay death. Got it. Oh, you guys are too. Both at one inches. Oh no. There was a mishaps. <laughs> we got both people at the same entrance. But there is only three of us, so it cannot happen. So machete works and samurai sword works too. How did you spawn in here? What? Why dot failed? Normally works, I don't know why. Dot failed once. All good. Okay, it seems like this particular quest is slightly too slow. Let's will I do better first person if I can aim for a head? Yes. I'm doing slightly better if I can aim for a head. I can really kill them fast. Four minute twenty second. We are like consistently as long as there is no escort here, we are consistently around four minute twenty thirty seconds mark now. So we are doing really good. We just need to get perfect run to beat the high score. Yeah, I'm a ninja turtle. <laughs> I'm a ninja turtle speedrunner. The full set of an Ilnik Torn, every weapon will work. That's the truth. Every weapon will work. Every melee weapon will work with an Ilnik Torn. It's just so good. 
Oh, Captain Flappy Sack. Thank you a lot for five bucks. Appreciate that, Captain. Uh, the message is, I'm on PS5. Game is unplayable now since last update. Crashes whenever I do an expedition or event. Oh, really? That's bad. Hopefully they will patch it soon. I don't know why that's happening on PS5. I don't have any issues on PC. So at least for me, it works absolutely fine. Curious why it's not like that on PS5. Torn is not cheaper than regular armor. Like, Secret Service you craft with one module. A regular armor reroll, it's three modules. And Torn is three modules too. Because you need script and one module. And you cannot reroll, so you need all other ingredients too. It's not really so cheap. Oh, right arm again. I don't have room for more right arms. I should have room for torso. Open at this one. This one has room for torso. So alternating between red appa and samurai sword is working very well for me so far. I will need torn armor, like unyielding, at some point. Now my torn, it is torn, but as you can see, that's damage from animals. This one is terrible. Then those pieces, that's overeaters. I think those, those are all overeaters. Yeah, I have four overeaters pieces, and one is different. I don't have any unyielding. Okay. There are three people on the team, so we can try again. I had this one situation that Dot didn't trigger. Or maybe it was just a lag and Dot was slacking, I don't know. And Torn Armor is not tradable, so I cannot buy an Illig Torn. I would need to craft it. And that would be expensive. Alright, Ninja Turtle action. Moon flowers. Did it work? Oh, now it died. Don't dot can be slacking sometimes. Now that was fast, like you will not predict that. It's too far for me, Solipsis does close. Got it. About one minute, so that's not too bad. If we could get a tato toss, it would be a chance. Mm. 
Okay, someone pick up the teddy. And I'm going for this guy. We got the teddy. We got the teddy. So, oh, JSG, you did a run with four, 4 minutes 10 seconds. Very good. Congratulations. Shark's Den. Okay, that's not Tater Toss. We have good time, but can we secure Shark Den on time? We'll need to prevent any enemies for getting into the Shark's Den. Samurai sword ready. Yeah, everyone, one swing. One swing per person. Here you go, one swing per person. Now emoji. This one enemy in sight? Oh, no, zero. Okay. Zero enemies. How fast can it be secured? We keep it at zero. There is a chance if they don't spawn on the inside. No, don't, no cheating, you see? That cheater spawn on the inside. Die! Okay, looks like quickly after the spawn, they immune to dot. In the moment they spawn, they immune to dot. They cheating. So I need red upper. That's how are you spawning here? They spawn you under that and that's inside the zone. So that's why dot do not work. They have the same protection that player has after respawn. That's that's weird. The same protections as player have after respawn. They have protection for from dot. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, four thirty. Okay, the, the sharks. Then it seems like it's not possible to get under four. Unless it would be like very fast on the first phase, on the outside, we'll need to do very fast. There's four of us now, so we can try. Oh, on Xbox is rough too. Oh, that's not good. Seems like the PC is the way to go, but that's the most expensive option. Soon I will not have room for all those rewards. Oh, JSG today is fine for you on Xbox. So that's interesting. One day it's not, one day it's fine. The switchblade. Not the right arm, I have no more room for right arms.
So alternating between weapons. I need to learn to do it better. How is my buff? 18 minutes left, so I can still go. Tax evasion, no. The most sensational game, yes. Does Warglaive have poison blade? No, Warglaive doesn't. Wait, Warglaive has fire. I forgot to check the Warglaive. Maybe I can check if Warglaive is usable. Then I could put Slugger perks. Slugger perks will boost my auto axe a little bit. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's only two of us yet, but it's okay. okay there's three of us. Oh, those are fireworks. For fireworks, I can use sneak. Run and crouch so my look loses sight of me and I can continue in peace. Oh no, my look! My look crossed my line of sight. Oh, stupid my look! My look ruined it. My look ruined it. Stupid my look. Lunch. Okay, still not the worst time. Not the worst time. We have small chance if we roll Tatotos. My looks just doing his job yet, yeah, unfortunately. What? How Solip Sister just died from rats? What has happened? Switching to auto. Okay. This is soft. Teddy. Oh, quantum bear. Okay. Quantum bear done. And Shark's Den again. Okay, don't think we can secure it fast enough. Somehow they they spawn inside. They cheating. in area zero. I'll be waiting here as they like to spawn there. I'll keep an eye on them. How this one was in there? Will they try to spawn on the inside or not? Oh. I forgot them. Last time they were spawning in here and ruining everything.
Okay, now maybe if I stand in this spot, they do not spawn inside. Still not under four minutes. The fireworks are too slow. If my look interrupts you, but still kind of good time. We are consistently doing it around four and half, and it's quite a while since there was escortee. Did my luck improve? Did my luck improve that for so long time there was no escortee? Good night, Jules. Yeah, the new release games at high settings just have way too high requirements. If you want to play in the 4K, it's still 1080p gaming, to be honest, unless you use upscaling like NVIDIA DLSS. Playing in native 4K is not an option, even on endgame gear. It just doesn't work. My monitor is 2K and it can mostly handle the games. But I overdid it. I, I After I made my setup, I regretted 2K, which is 1440p. I should go with 1080p. Maybe my next PC will be able to handle 4K in a year or two. Super Sledge. What's the heavy? Oh, another right arm. Nocturnal board. Unyielding Brotherhood. And that's no more script for me. I can store their left leg. I'm pretty sure I can store their left leg still. Yep, have room for legs. Why I don't do tax ev evasion experience farm? I uploaded the video, I have no... I have no need for experience. I have no need at this moment to farm an experience. So why would I do that? Samurai sword ready. Oh, we are all already in here. Perfect. Let's see if you get lucky with quests. The speed radic is all about getting good quests. Keeper done. Okay, it's look like this will be fast.
Okay, Fallout 76 is quite old engine, but it does require quite solid CPU. She's soft, so that's always fast. Oh, we have the teddy. Look how fast. One minute, 30 seconds for the first two phases. Now the longest one. Sharks dead again. We have very good start, so we have a chance to claim this shark's den fast. Assuming we can clean it really fast. Enemies in area zero. Oh, oh. Okay, I cover this spot so they do not spawn here. We have all entrances covered. There is a chance. There is a chance. Run. Complete it. One of them, and second one. Oh, we did it! We did it! 345! 345, we did it! 345! Nice! Nice! 345, new high score. Okay, it's what will be like all time best after this expedition will be live for a longer time. What will be the absolute min max run? That was fast. Good job, team. That was fast. Can we get extra reward Bethesda for doing it extra fast? Nothing good. No, nothing good, but I have more modules. Can it be done faster? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep trying, but maybe. Should I keep trying to do it faster or is 345 good enough? Supposed to check this work life that I forgot to check. Oh, there is Dot. 
from the flaming blade. I could go work like flaming blade. How does it compare with... Okay, let's put work life here. Uh, not inspect. Uh, change. One oh eight over five seconds. Okay, that will be the same if I swap. If I swap gladiator mods for slugger mods, and that will improve my auto axe performance too. Expert master with regular slugger. Oh, don't have rank one slugger. I need rank one slugger. Expert, no. Where is regular? I miss it. There's. I check that you unmark cave. Unmark cave? I'm pretty sure it's marked. There is some un unmarked cave. What unmarked cave? You are there now in Meyer? I will check it. It's my work life with weapon speed. Swing fast enough, I think. Maybe be like sprinting and then swinging. Oh, I over encumbered. I have right leg. Do I have right leg? What do I have? Yeah, right leg, torso, left arm. Yeah, this one is full. Can I squeeze it into stash? Yes. Okay, so if she's time coming. Here? And where is cave supposed to be at Fisher side? Where are you even? There? There. Coming. I don't know about new cave. Oh. My look then? Is it that the spot where Bloatfly used to be? No, that's different. Cool cave. 
Uh, Bloody Eagle ist hier nachher. Hm. Where did it know there is a new cave? That's a surprise. My look madly recipe. <laughs> and, and the Razor, this was the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. If you make this again, you are out of the gang. <laughs> oh wow. The cool cave. Oh, there's a button. Key that wall? What is going on? He that a stash of weapons? Uh, can someone loot it all? I want to see if that works the same like expedition interiors. Can you loot it all, someone here? Like everything in this room? I want what, to see what happens if we exit for a minute and return. I cannot loot because that's my instance. That's the point. Someone else if can pick it up all in here and I will explore. Oh, another note. The bitch is dead. We lost Jackie and Ricky, but we finally got her. Took us weeks to track down this den. A few of her eggs hatched the other day. We were a little worried at first, but they seem to have taken a liking to us. They don't taste half bad either. That's a cool place. And that's what they were hunting. The Milo Queen. They killed her. They tracked her down in here and killed her. Oh, the recipe. Yeah, I, 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 already, I was already reading that. Okay, let's go, as there is a mutated event, part of the swamp. Yeah, I think it may be some kind of a teaser for part two. So there will be definitely a proper quest line. There are already some new locations. Why is the smile look so tough? Nice strangler hurt. Acts way more effective, and I need another food bar. Oh, 
Uh oh. I, I ran out of Brahmin milk. But I have grapes. Though I'm over a cupboard after a healing. Yeah, me a mallet. Where's the boss? Not the boss yet? Oh, this one is legendary. Oh, I, a lot of soft shell. I want soft shell stuff. Not the, why is it disappearing? Not regular meat. Soft shell only. Only interested in the soft shell meat. Okay, there's a creature. Oh, that over there. Get them. Now there should be a boss. There it is. Resilient monster. We got it. More soft shell or more soft shell? Need to store some stuff. Oh no, I have the wrong tent. Cannot store much here. It is only stash box and that stuff. It's useless. Load first. Come on. Load. Tents. Back to my favorite enclave tent. Now I have ammo box. Probably have a lot of ammo that weights me down. And what can I do? Oh, I'm running with makeshift warrior all this time. Okay, so that's fixed. Armor requires some fixes. Now I need rats. We'll do it. He's calling me. To go back to the cave now. <laughs> Reflective is a terrible mutation. Oh, my lips. Where is this cave? Here. Need to remember the location. Maybe I should do a video about the hidden cave. How did you find this cave? Who would even wander here for no reason?
There is more caves? Oh wow. Enemies indeed respawn. What? Toy alien. Oops, sir. My look hatchik. <laughs> I just realized what that is. So it works like that. All is back. Unlimited loot as well. As long as you don't loot it yourself, someone else needs to enter. But you can do it with two people. All this stuff is in still here. I think it was all looted. Who was it? There's a lot of random weapons. That you can like loot for scrapping to get mods. Oh, the trap! Did it? I loot this trap when I was sent it. Pretty sure I did, and it's back. Okay, we can do another expedition. Oh, not yet. The food. I need the food bath. Calling me. Yeah, I heard about expeditions crashing, especially on consoles. Got a new cave too. Where are we? Crosshair now has a cave? I know this location, but there was never a cave. Seems like Bubble had still spawns where it used to. But the location outside didn't change, but it developed a cave. Deserted mine. Oh wow. So, so many hidden locations developed? What? Miner? With blood eagles? What's going on in here? I like tracks. Oh. It's closed. There was a digger. Okay, it's all stacked with a rubble, so it's probably not too big. Couple chambers. Toy toys? How an armor spawn? New locations left and right. What's this sign? 
it says nothing, okay. I don't think there is any hidden part. No hidden buttons? <laughs> like in other one? No hidden buttons, there is a note. That smell. I can't take the smell anymore. I thought Carol's burning the bodies wouldn't help, but he didn't listen. They smell like wet dog and burnt plastic while they're still alive. The gas mask isn't helping either. I'm going outside before I throw up all over myself. Okay. What did you found? Another note? Oh, I cannot get from from the side. Let's use the door. Yes, the note. We are starting to think this place is only just a part of a much bigger network of tunnels being used by those numbling bastards. Every time we clear them out, more would show up. They finally stopped appearing once we barricaded the tunnels with all that shit around we found in here. Okay, so that explains why all the tunnels are stuck. Okay, let's do one more expedition. I ate the food. Yeah, I'm using poison uh, for expeditions. So enemies in expeditions are weak versus dots, so I figured why not poison. Oh, Mr. Kill, uh, the fusion cores do indeed drain in VATs. What they change is that they do not drain when you press VAT button. The button that activates VATs. They drained on the button press before. Now they don't. They only drain when you are actually firing. Work life action. Overgrown moonflowers. I will go this way. Flowers. I do some emoji. A bit of emoji action. Do we have them all? No, not yet. Got the last one. Yeah. What expedition is best for solo? The one we are doing right now. The most sensational game is the best, period. For everything. Someone grab the bear, please. And I'm running through. Switching to X. First person, so hopefully I get headshots. Now jump early. Ah, almost. Fail jump. Killed. We got the teddy. Yes. Carry on.
Hello there, Elian. Yeah, it's very good here. We managed to do one expedition so far in 3 minutes 45 seconds. Oh, this one will be slow. <laughs> Scorty is back. Escorty is back, everyone. So there is no way to do it fast now. Go, Escorty. The slow T. Go, slow T civilian. At least it's a male, so that's not as slow as a female. Bethesda is trying to tell us something, but I don't know what. Every time it Escorty spawns as a female, it takes five minutes to do the task. When it spawns as a male, it takes approximately two to three minutes to do the task. Why? I don't know. But they really did that. A female Escorty takes twice as much time. And oh, Escort T still has a chance to bug out, so we'll see if this Escort T will even progress. Okay, it is progressing. Escort T is the worst. Slow and can bug out. Don't stand in front of Escort T. No, don't stand in front of Escort T. I mean, it will not do it super fast, but if you stand in front of Escorty, he will find a new path. So, just the fact finding the new path takes forever. You can open door for him, but from behind him. You cannot open door from in front of him. You see? Because people are in front, Escorty needed to spawn backwards. <laughs> This is ridiculous with escorties. Kill the fish. Yep, and escortie is totally lost now. I don't know why Bethesda cannot just disable collisions for escortie. That would be way easier, just disable collisions, so Escort T will not be forced to look for a new path every time someone stands in front of him. As, as it is, you see how ridiculous it is. Every time someone stands in front of Escort T, Escort T goes on the lookout for a new path. He's very tough though, so those guys cannot really kill or harm him. And he do not care about NPCs in front of him, but he will repath if player steps in front. And you know how good Bethesda pathing is. Oh, don't stare at me. Go wherever you want to go. Now Escort is stuck. <laughs> Too many paths to choose from. Oh no. Too many paths to choose from and I'm afraid Escort could have bang out. Did you bang out? I'm pretty sure it's faster to restart entire expedition when you spawn escort it and keep doing that. <laughs> it may be faster to restart entire expedition every time escort T spawns. I need to start doing that. Escort T spawns, we start the expedition. Escort is probably easier solo than with a team. There is less risk that 
escort you will need to repair. What's that coming in? I want to play a little bit with my machete. Where is my machete? What was that? There. He is going for the rust parcel. Surprisingly, Bashati, I think, is somehow working better. Not sure, but it feels like it. Even though the overall damage of the Machete is not the greatest. But it's doing it's doing the most dot. And that's how slow it is. Like almost nine minutes because of SQT. Twice the duration of expedition when you spawn SQT. Yeah, Casino is a maze. I hate Casino Expeditions. It's not fun. After being lost in the pit, I I love this expedition. You cannot get lost here. In this expedition, you cannot get lost. It's straightforward. Anything good? An yielding raider? Yeah, thank you. Over in Cambridge, but they probably can store some. Where did it go? Oh. Any legs? Right leg, left leg, and I have left arm to store. There's room for left arm. That's all stored. Machete could be possibly better. Just because the dot is higher. The poison and bleed on machete. Probably stick with Machete, but I will keep the Slugger perks for boosting of my Auto Axe. Can I change anything here? Can I do any better? I don't think I can do any better. I have, now it will be good. Some food. Let's check the food. Oh, I was supposed to cook some stuff and I forgot. Put my tent here. My tent. Oh. There we go. 
cook meat. Yeah, soft shells and the steak. There is the soft shell. I don't need the bottle dog, so I'll skip that. The steak. Okay. Let's try again. If there will be escort here, I'm just re-rolling. On escort here, I'm re-rolling. It's the first phase we can do in two minutes. So I can re-roll and start over the first two minutes if escort T spawns. Reroll on Escort T, that's the plan now. Do it. Did you manage to figure out if there is a better melee weapon than Machete? For Dot? Oh, one other thing I could do is use different than Vampire Auto Axe, but I don't think I have any. Where's quest objective? There. What the hell? So Machete doesn't seem like it's doing a lot of damage, but they die shortly after I hit them. One more moonflower. I'm doing that in the meantime. Now I'm waiting. Here we go. Let's see how fast this one will go. Someone please pick up the teddy. I got the Julian. We got the teddy? Yes, we got the teddy. No escort here, please. Now. No. Not doing escort here. Too high risk of bug. Too slow. Not touching it. Escort here, restart. Unfortunately, there is 33% chance of getting escort here. So there is only escort here, Tato, and secure the area. There are only three objectives. No, not not current. Start new. Yes. That's the workaround. Escort T quit. Especially that it only takes two minutes to do the first two phases. So well, that's worth a quick restart. Unless I would be purely only farming stamps, then I would take my time and do the escort tea. But I want to see how fast we can do it. A 
set you ready. I think first person view would be better. Let's go with that. Oh, those are fireworks. fast can we do fireworks unfortunately fireworks is the worst start that's like the slowest oh you have it okay good oh the mylux are tough poison is not killing mylux for some reason oh no one stopped at this one i'm launching this one Totally not bad. Fireworks in one minute? That's awesome time. Come on, door. Pick up a teddy. Stuck. Of course I'm stuck. I'm scared. Ah, I'm leaving that. You guys killed. Oh, the bear. Got the bear. Is he dead? I don't know where this guy disappeared. <laughs> I lost the sight. Yeah, I have machete with sacrificial mode. Shark's den. Okay, so it's shark's den. Shark's den is doable. got I need to stand here so no one will spawn inside my internet died again what happened if I rejoin like I will be so behind need to run again we'll finish it but yeah that will be the last one for today I don't want to do it <laughs> with this internet but i'm so happy that once we managed to do three minutes 45 seconds oh no not my day it's breaking too often Resume. I don't know what's going on with this internet provider today. Unfortunately, I don't really have choice. <laughs> I cannot have different one here. I mean, kind of, you can and you cannot. As there is like free internet to choose from, they all are using the same infrastructure. So will not change anything. Three different providers, they use exactly the same stuff. So it's not really switching.
everyone is firing at me. And yeah, the timer continues, so... There's no way, if you get disconnected or something, it's over. Everyone responds, and we'll need to claim Shark Den all over again. And to be honest, no one else needs to run. <laughs> yeah, only me. Everyone will get teleported, everyone I enter next location. So there's a lot of creepy stuff in this area if you would search it carefully. I wasn't doing too much exploration myself, but I did. Spent like 30 minutes once exploring this area. All dead, all dead. I just stand here and will keep my eye on this area if an enemy will attempt to spawn. Could have been so fast, look how smoothly it goes. Could have been so fast. But I'm not even sure if I need poisonous auto axe. I could use probably any mod, as I'm using auto axe to just as fast as possible kill them. It's already slow, let's try VATS. Oh, this time VATS worked. Alright, I'm, I'm faster. So VATS have a chance to work. Need to get lucky though, for VATS to do it. And since they reduced the VATS cost for automatic melee weapons, you can use VATS. Oh, Chess is for you. Thank you a lot for two bucks. Appreciate that. And Chess is saying over 200 likes despite the internet issue. Yeah, I know. You guys are the best. You support me even if everything is against me. So I do truly appreciate. Thank you. It could have been way better if that those internet issues. I wish I could do something about it. And what do we have? Bloody switchblade. Yeah, Ultra Psychotic Laser is really cool to play with. It is a spin-up weapon, but you will get used to it. It's really cool. Okay, and I'm not doing anything anymore in here. I do hope that the next time I will be streaming, it will work better. For now, it will be it for today. Okay. 
we're still live, so maybe I can even say my goodbyes before it crashes again. I do hope that will, <laughs> will be true. So thank you a lot, everyone, for dropping those likes and watching, despite not the best experience, for what I apologize, and I wish I could fix it, but I cannot. And yeah, that's everything for today, so I wish you amazing rest of your weekend, and see you in other streams and more videos to come. And that being said, tell it loud. Bye.